gonna be all right. Cheer up, Murray, you look a little sad. Your life ain't so bad. Just think of all the good times. Remember your third birthday, you threw a great big party. And all of your friends were there for you, Jermaine, Greg, and me. We brought you a cake in the shape of a four and a three, because we all thought you were 43. Let's go and get an ice cream. Cheer up, Murray, so nothing goes your way. It's the same every day. Well, tomorrow is another day. So it's Sunday night tonight. Um, tomorrow is Monday, obviously. And then um, I'm going to go out my first prior surgery. 
uh, sun slows tomorrow, uh, most likely in the morning. <coughs> Uh, I've had a good chat with uh, Dr. Kong yesterday about the whole procedure and um, exactly what's going to happen and, and how it's going to work and um, I suppose yeah, exactly what they're going to be doing. It's because you know your tumor is like that, you know, the lung is like this and power also like this to cover all of the lungs. Yes. So what we can do just that uh, one part by one part. Yes. So we cannot do in one. No. Or maybe two, two, or maybe two times. Maybe need them more. Maybe three or four times more, just to destroy the tumors. All of the tumors. Uh, it's hard to say all of that, but we think what we can do maybe eighty percent to ninety percent could be. Which I can can do eighty to ninety percent also can help you to just uh, you just have more, just make you more sensitive to the chemo. And also, chemo drug can easily to control just less tumor cells. Yes. So you think if you can cryosurgically remove eighty to ninety percent, yes. then the chemotherapy maybe can yes, remove the yes, rest, yes, the next yes, 10, right, right. 10 to twenty percent. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Just tumor we cannot cure. Why? Because that's stage four. Mm -hmm. And also, the place is uh, very uh, complicated. Mm. And also, the place which one we cannot do just. Uh, just cannot to make the cryo to have a one centimeter more than the tumor we can see. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's the reason. So what we can do just try to reduce the tumor burden. Mm -hmm. And also you take the combined therapy, just like the therapy and also the chemotherapy yes. to try to kill other bears. Yes. Yeah, maybe just let it sleep. If mm. they not wake up, that's okay. Mm. So not affect you. Mm. But do you think if you can get yeah, like 90% with mm. the cryotherapy, 10% mm. uh, with the um, cryosurgery, 10% mm. with the chemotherapy. Mm. Do you think to get the microscopic cell mm. uh, photodynamic therapy, would this be a maybe a argument to try this one, to get the microscopic cell? Or yeah, this would be, yeah, this would be a next step after right, all at of the this end, one. Right yeah, and the then end, just yeah. see how's your reaction. Yes. Yeah, if we check the PET CT, they show all of that is uh, negative, then maybe no need to take. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they still have some on the surface, then I think you can take. Yes. So this one depends on the result after yes. this yes. Uh, I'll spend the day in the intensive care <laughs> unit, just being monitored. <laughs> there are obviously some side effects which are associated with the cryosurgery. that are all pretty, uh, pretty minimal risk or pretty minimal chance of them occurring. <laughs> Um, but some of them uh, are pretty nasty. From the cryosurgical probe. Yes, yes. yes. Maybe for you, we think maybe three, three to five days they will close and then we'll stop. And the second one, just uh, they will uh, have a little bit breathing. Could be because the needle, oh, yeah. that's why you take the injection. When you take the needle, well, you cannot push inside. Yes. Yeah, so there could be a little bit leaking, could be. Yes. Yeah, but we think uh, that's will not affect you so much because uh, during the time we also will prevent you puncture the big the tumor, a big artery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. Uh, we could be maybe take ultrasound, just a color doppler to see where is the artery yes. to prevent the puncture the artery. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So we think the big breathing is uh, very, very, very. Rare. Yeah, very, very rare. For the recovery time, just maybe five to, maybe one week to two weeks. So this is uh, what I want to tell you. So, okay. what's your question? I just want to ask, okay. Um, so, who will be doing the cryosurgery? Who is the surgeon? Yeah, I, I applied the Professor New. Professor New. Professor New, New and, okay, and yes. his team. And you said the surgery will take about an hour, is yeah. that correct? Yeah. One hour, yeah. yeah. And about I, one hour. Yeah. And, I will, and I will be asleep for this one. Oh, yes. There will be a local uh, yes, 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 yes. Is, this, is yeah. it possible maybe tomorrow or next day mm. that we just have another quick look at it? The CT scan, is that okay? Oh, I think it's better to just see after procedure and then you can know. Yes. Because sure. also tomorrow, maybe you don't know, when right after that, Mm -hmm. And then we can show you which one will do. Sure, so they okay. decide on the day. And when the, the, the tumour frees and it mm. goes necrosis, mm. and you say the body will start to mm. take it away, and this, this yeah. how long is this process to uh, start? This to one will be like at least for one month. One month. Yeah, for yes. fibrosis, maybe two right. months or three months. Two to three months. The yeah. tumour will die or immediately. Yeah, immediately.
And uh, what is the smallest size tumour mm. that cryosurgery can freeze? Is it like one centimetre? Yeah, two, about one centimetre. About one centimetre. Yeah, you can see. Yes, because I have quite small one on my previous PET scan. You can see quite small one, sort of in this area, close mm. to the heart. Mm. Um, do you think this one can be frozen or is this yeah, more Yeah, we think this on one, uh, we will see next time. Yeah, maybe the hair will be controlled. Maybe hair will be shrink or disappear by chemotherapy. Yes. If they like that, then no need to do the cryo. Yes. So we will recheck. We don't want to do this very dangerous freeze and also not yes. very big one first. Yes. Because maybe the chemo also can clean. Yes. The yes. To and the if you said through the CT scan, mm. it looked like that it had come out from the hole mm. from where the catheter was. From uh, where the, the pre before, previous yeah, catheter. Yeah. Yes. Do you think that it is a possibility if you use the probe for cryosurgery that same thing will happen? Cancer will come out from the hole? Do you think this is possible? Or do you think no, no. it will be killed so it will stop? No, this tumor is also do the cryo, they also not, not come out by the hole. Not because we don't hole. want to have damage on the skin. Mm -hmm. They could be have fibrosis under the skin also, mm -hmm. not go outside. They also will become fibrosis. Okay. And um, before, you, just then, you said that the cancer, you know, you cannot cure it mm -hmm. because it's stage four. Yes. But I am confident that mm -hmm. you can remove all the cancer that is here or you can create necrosis on all the cancer that yeah, is well, currently the here. The best one, what we can do, just try to just, uh, how to say, we hope we can just let it not active. Yes. Not active, just mean. It doesn't mean there's no tumors. Maybe some tumors leave. Mm -hmm. Maybe just more tumors, necrosis become become dead. Yes. But they still have some cells could be sleeping. Yes. Yeah, that could be. Yes. We cannot remove it. They would be in your body. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what you need to do, try to improve your immune immunity. Yes. So you can just control it. Control and it, yes. If something grow, you can fight with it when it begins. Yes. So that's that's what you can do. Yes. That's also what we can do. But I am confident that you can do it so that if you see a PET scan, mm. you can see no active cancer. Yes. I'm yes. confident that we can get this result. Yeah, I think I think uh, there high high chance to get this result. Yes, and then of course. Mm. There will be cancer cell in my body, mm. but if I can control through the immune yeah, system, yes. then I can get long-term yes, yes, remission. Right. Yeah, and then right. when it starts again, I come and visit you again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. we do more cryosurgery. Yes. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it it uh, it all goes successful, and then um, the plan uh, the plan is uh, recovery. Um, usually takes around a week or so, uh, Dr. Kong was saying, depending on the patient. And then uh, after I have recovered from the cryosurgery, we will decide what uh, what is next, uh, whether I do a second uh, cryosurgery or whether I go and have uh, my second round of, of chemotherapy for the month. Um, it'll be around around sort of three weeks since my first chemotherapy um, when that occurs, so uh, we'll just we'll just wait and see um, uh, what they decide to do next. But uh, yeah, I'm about to fall asleep. It's about 11:30 at night. Uh, like I said, I'm excited to get it underway. I really think that uh, the cryosurgery is going to be the key to my success in removing and uh, killing the uh, the majority of the tumours that I have. Uh, inside inside myself um, so I'm really looking forward to getting it done and getting it uh, finished so that I can uh, yeah go and uh, enjoy a period of uh, long-term remission um, but yeah anyway I'm gonna go to sleep